working for you. Como for News starts right now. A new movie opening tomorrow at the Seattle International Film Festival is already making waves around the world. Como for Theron Zahn reports the film is a dire warning about our oceans. It's one of the biggest films at the Seattle International Film Festival. A sea change says pollution from the air is turning to acid in our oceans. 30% of what goes up into the atmosphere uh, comes down into the ocean. Sven Husby co-produced and stars in the documentary. He says our oceans have become 30% more acidic over the last 100 years. Increased acidity is being seen in significant ways up along the Pacific coast, heading right up into Alaska. The film shows how corrosive the water in the Gulf of Alaska has already become. In this time lapse, a shell in Gulf water starts dissolving within 48 hours. That's not some future prospect, that's now. The film says if it's not stopped, acidic water could kill off the base of the food chain. Beautiful little creatures, uh, the size of half of my fingernail. These are the creatures that juvenile salmon have for breakfast. Can we do any better than that now? Part of the film was shot here in Seattle during a climate change conference. A die-off in sea life could slam our economy. Acidification is an unambiguous threat. U.S. commercial fisheries are valued at about 28 plus billion. A sea change does show how some people and companies are reducing what they pump into the air. But in the film, Husby worries it might be too late. Do we have the will to change or have we become too cynical and too divided? How bad do things have to get? According to him, bad is already here. Worse is coming. Theron's on Como 4 News. And just earlier this month, an environmental group filed a lawsuit against the federal government. They want waters off the Washington coast added to the EPA's impaired waters list. The suit says the EPA isn't doing enough to stop ocean acidification. We would like to congratulate some of our colleagues tonight.